Mighty Thor number 10 by Jason Aaron and Russell Dorterman. Um These boys have been on this book together for a couple of years now, nearly, because um, they did the first volume, Thor. I think that only went to about nine issues, though, and things are really heating up. Mm. Like, oof. I'm liking the rocks on Hulks. Yeah. They're cool. I like those. Jason Aaron's got this really whimsical sort of sensibility that you only see in certain books of his. Uh, sometimes he does just dead serious, kind of hardcore, and it maybe creeps in. Like when he did God of Thunder, um, you had space sharks that were being ridden by <laughs> Thor into battle and stuff like that. Uh, but when he does a book like Wolverine and the X-Men, or he did a crossover, I don't know if you've ever read it, it was called Astonishing Spider-Man and Wolverine, and it was the most fucking absurd uh, <laughs> series of events. He really can cut loose, and this has got that just that right amount of balance between yeah. serious plot, where there are, there are important stakes, we've got the main character dealing with cancer, um, and absurdity that's just keeps it entertaining all the time yeah Um, these ridiculous characters uh just (laughs) all it it all blends together in a i mean some some people i think prefer the more serious thor but i'm really enjoying it's it's got enough serious components in it i think to please everybody it's i mean i i really enjoyed the fact that those few shield agents thought that they could hold thor as well i thought that was awfully sweet of them (laughs) it's 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 lovely and all that but it's not going to happen um but yeah like like you say the fact that the character the main character is dealing with cancer is it's a big thing and and she's trying to define the difference as well between jane and the thor and it's that that's enough serious, I think, to hold it. And the fact that Roxon are doing some pretty nasty ass stuff as well is keeping it quite grounded. While yeah. at the same time, you've got random Roxon Hulks kicking around. Yeah. To to add a bit of strange and obscure into the equation. Definitely, and there's there's a lot of plate spinning. There's a really big cast of characters now because mm. um, you've got Roxon and the Minotaur stuff. Uh, which has been around in the background for a while, but you've got Malekith, you've got Loki, you've got this new Silver Samurai now, and that Exterminatrix chick. Um, plus the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents trying to get Thor. You've got whatever Thor's been up- upsetting people like uh, Odin, not best <laughs> pleased with her, and you've got the unworthy Thor who is still knocking around somewhere, and all this stuff. I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm just so glad that there's going to be a second book soon so that it can yeah. relieve some of the weight of this book. Uh, Cause there's just that, that much going on that it needs a second book, I think. Well, yeah. I mean, not to mention the ending of this issue, Yeah, which was just uh, what, what the, yeah. What yeah. quite happened. Yeah. Nobody quite knows. Yeah, obviously, but it's yeah, an interesting it, ending. It felt to me like um, so. In, to get into specific spoilers of the ending of this issue, if you haven't read it yet, just to warn you for the next couple of minutes, um, the Shield agents confront our Thor, uh, telling you know, knowing that who she is, that is Jane Foster, and then Jane appears out of nowhere as well, so that you know, disproving their theory, apparently. Um, mm, apparently, but this is something that happens in comics all the time. Uh, yeah, when there's a, a, someone's about to be outed in their secret <laughs> identity, so how they get around it is yet to be seen. Um, but it's certainly uh, it's certainly going to be entertaining either way. I mean, it does help that she rocked up on the Rainbow Bridge and that there's gods on her side. So yeah, it's going to be. I mean, it's going to be a quite easy resolution there in that God yeah. did it, but. Yeah, still fun. Again, the whimsy starts stepping back in, while at the same time pointing towards the serious side of the story. Yeah, I love how the, the, fact- sh- the Shield agents are so blindly focused on, you know, re- outing Thor when there is so much more important things going on around <laughs> them. They just don't give a Absolute shit. Absolute chaos. It's just Absolute ridiculous. Chaos. Uh, it's it's typical. It's just laughing at bureaucracy, isn't yeah, it? It's exactly, brilliant. Yeah. I think it is. It is really fun. Yeah. A really good read. Cool. Any more to be said about Thor number ten? No, no. 